Welcome everybody to our Supporting Your Health Foundation. And tonight we're gonna to be focusing on circulatory health um, and supporting it with your plant sourced omega-3. And if I haven't met you or know you, I am Valerie Bledsoe, I'm a master herbalist, and I absolutely love empowering people through education to take charge of their health. So I thought it might be kind of fun to help people understand you know, maybe some odd ways of realizing that they might need plant omega-3. For instance, if you lay down to sleep at night and run your entire day back through your head, play by play. And these things are things that I have personally experienced. That was me to a T so many years ago. With, until I got plant omega-3, I literally would go over and over again. And so by having the plant omega-3, now I don't have that happening anymore. Next thing would be, it feels like you're walking in gla on glass the first few steps in the morning. For myself, that simply meant I wasn't being able to break down the fats that I was getting. And when I changed to a plant omega-3, that issue completely disappeared and has never once come back. You might need a plant omega-3 if you find or completely unplanned words coming out of your mouth when you speak. For instance, if your plan is to say piano and instead you say step stool, I mean, literally that bizarre. Now, a lot of us think that that's something or have come to accept that's something with uh, aging, but I'm telling you, it's not. It has to do with how we break down or if we can break down our fats. You might need a plant omega-3 if you find your keys in the refrigerator or other unusual places. Again, this is indications that your brain might need a little more omega-3. Or if your joints are so rusty, you're convinced the sound should be audible to everyone. Otherwise, if you're going to move in literally, to me, I could almost used to be able to feel like it was just squeaking so loud within me. I could feel the vibration from it. I just figured everyone else must be able to hear it as well. And finally, you forgot what hormones are. A lot of people don't realize that good fats, and in particular, the omega-3s are sort of play a big role in this in helping us to even manufacture our hormones. We need good fats to make hormones. So I thought it was important to look at why cholesterol is important to your health. So many people think, and, and unfortunately, cholesterol has gotten a bad rap, but there is a purpose and a reason why it is in our body. It is used to help um, in the formation of cholic acid, which is used to make bile salts. And bile salts are so important for emulsifying and digesting fat. This is a big role in, in why when people lose their gallbladder, that they have issues with getting uh, their good fats because they no longer can break down and emulsify their fat. Well, the good news is with the Solmegas, I have yet to find anyone who has had their gallbladder removed that has had an issue with breaking down the Solmega. Cholesterol is also important in the production of adrenal and reproductive hormones. Like I said before on that other slide, we need good fats, which also are important for making our cholesterol to help make our uh, reproductive hormones and adrenal. When we get stressed, how many of you have issues with memory? And like I was talking about when I lay down and go to try to go to sleep and my brain would run lists and replay day by day, every client I'd seen, each one I was gonna see for the next day, all of it, it was meant that I wasn't getting enough good fats. Cholesterol is important to help make your skin watertight. It is one of the things that helps to not only hold everything in, but also protect from stuff coming in as well. And finally, cholesterol helps to bind your toxins. It helps reduce inflammation and protects the nerve or brain tissue from chemical damage. A lot of people don't realize how our body, again, brilliantly designed, makes no mistakes that it will help protect us from these toxins by binding it in fat. And again, cholesterol is that main part of that. And so if your cholesterol is running high, it is a symptom that something is wrong with the body's metabolism. So rather than shoving or forcing that number to go down, why not help support and give the body what it needs so it can address the issues? So we always want to look at and point out a little bit why adaptogens are so special. And I, you've, many of you have heard me talk about adaptogens and how, to me, I relate to them to being like shock absorbers for our body 
helping us to go through life with being able to bounce back. It keeps us from slamming into holes and it also keeps us from bouncing out of our vehicle. So otherwise, it helps our body deal with what's thrown at us. And again, another nice little quote from this book that I uh, reference a lot, and I just thought this was great. And it says, by exploring how stress affects the body, you will understand why adaptogens are essential as the foundation of any effective program for improving health and well-being, regardless of a person's challenges or goals. I cannot underscore enough, enough why adaptogens are so important and why what soul brings to the table by utilizing adaptogens in their combinations. So at this point, I think uh, before we get much more in depth with soul megas, one of the common questions that we get is, why is there a black spot in the soul megas? So with that, we're gonna have, um, I've asked Greg Halliday, who's the founder and president of Soul Naturals, to share some information on that. So I'm gonna stop the share here and allow Greg to take it from there. I will do that, Valerie, and thanks for the invitation. And hi, everybody. Good to see everyone. Um, can, I just, can I just comment on your, you might need more omegas if list? <laughs> Please do. The unplanned words. You made me, you made me reach for my, Soul Meg is on my desk and chew one. I like to, every once in a while, I like to chew them. That's why I have a bottle on my desk, because that happens. Yes, absolutely. Okay, I'm going to answer about the, the dark spot in the omegas by sharing my screen. Tell me if you can <clears throat> see this, everybody. <clears throat> they can. Let me see here. Uh, okay. Because Valerie already did this, but <clears throat> sometimes we joke, <clears throat> excuse me, these are, <clears throat> I was just eating pistachios <laughs> right before we got on. I'm just going to come clean. <clears throat> and I was having a little snack. So they're a little bit right here. Because <clears throat> I realized it was 530. Okay. So sometimes the oil well, the healthy fats worth so much that it gives you benefit the rest of your life. Um, Valerie touched on a lot of this, right? Blood health in general and softer skin and a focused mind and healthier joints and balanced nerves. All of these things omegas have a direct influence on nutritionally. And a little more and more people kind of know about it. Most people are stuck with fish. Fish eat omegas or they eat smaller critters that are getting their omegas from plants. The real source of omegas is plants. Why we call them powerful plant omegas on the label, so omegas, powerful plant. Because sometimes people think, oh, I get the really potent one in fish, or I could get a plant one, and it's reverse, by the way, the way the body uses things. It's not just the omega threes in so omega, in so omegas; it's three, six, seven, and nine. So I, Valerie asked me to at least show you the ingredients. It's always nice to see them, right? So there's the sea buckthorn, the key ingredient. It's key because it has so many neat things in it. I'll show just one slide of sea buckthorn, okay? Chia is also in it, black seed. These really look good, I hope, right, to you? To me, they, they do, you just wanna crunch them. Um, black currant, and something we added a couple of years ago, perilla, which is a member of the mint family. It's called beefsteak plant. 60% of this wonderful plant is um, ALA, omegas. Very, very high colitis and asthma and um, weight control are just topics of studies that it's been used in and with very promising um, results. Um, it, of course, is gonna help in everything. Valerie's, that, that five minute explanation of omegas is better than any I've heard. It's at the core of everything. That's why it helps these other things. And finally, we get to the last ingredient, which is not the least, and that's where you see the dark spot. In your omega, it's the sunflower lecithin. Unlike the other oils, it doesn't move into solution because it's an emulsifier. And so depending on the colors, the, these are natural oils we put in. Sometimes you'll see them a richer red or a more orange. They all, several of them have colors, as you can see, the currant and the sea buckthorn. And so in different seasons, you might get a little bit different coloration. And so it might look darker or lighter. Sometimes the lecithin looks like a little milky thing in there. Some light, so, sometimes it's a darker but it is the sunflower lecithin. And when we originally did the formula, 
the very, very few uh, manufacturing plants can do soft gels that are vegetarian and non-GMO. And we, of course, use one of two that does it. There may be a third one coming online. And they, they at the very start said, hey, you should, you should make this a solid color soft gel because you can see the lecithin. People might worry. It's Valerie's point about the black spot or the dark spot in it, okay? And um, we told him, no, we don't want to. We, we actually, that's a point of quality. Um, and, and sunflower play, plays a very key role in this formula. So I told you I'd show one slide and then I probably have all my time. Um, see, buckthorn is the number one ingredient. They're all very important, but it's a superfood. So far, more than 160 beneficial vitamins, minerals, um, compounds, fat soluble compounds are found in sea buckthorn, over 22 different kinds of fatty acids. And all four of these omegas that you see here, three, six, seven, and nine, um, to get the seven from sea buckthorn, you have to get the fruit. We have both the fruit and the seed in the soul omegas. The fruit because it has the seven. So omegas are a broad, soul omegas are a broad spectrum. They don't need to be a hyper high omega-3 content because they're balanced naturally with the suite of plants in there. Um, they're definitely safe to use in the quantities necessary to do whatever you're trying to do. And Val as Valerie teaches it, we're really just trying to balance. The body, when it gets balanced, it gets enough of the infusion of nutrients, it moves itself toward balance. Um, I'll just tell you one quick story and then wrap up. Um, Lydia, most, I think, I know several of you know Lydia and her parents, Nuvia and Alvaro. They were taking care of, I'm trying to remember now if it's Alvaro or, Nuvia, or Nuvia's dad. So Lydia's grandfather, and he, to manage his several health issues, which which Valerie alluded to. There were some cognitive and there were some joint and there were some digestive. He noticed a huge change when he started adding omegas. Only problem was he had to do something like six or eight omegas of a very quality company, um, very high dose theoretic, uh, theoretical in terms of, the, of omega-3. And when Solmegas came around, found that with only two instead of eight, he felt just as good and just the same because his body utilized it more easily. So, so Meg is, um, I, I love the product. We love that it's plant sourced. And yet, if you ever see that little dark thing in it, that's the lecithin in there. Thank you, Greg. And you reminded me, I was very similar to Lydia's grandparents with as active as my, as my brain is with all the teaching I do. And I, do have a photographic memory and I keep all these records up here in my head. I too was taking a very high quality, but I was requiring 16 of them a day to keep, allow my brain to be quiet, plus 16 of a fat enzyme as well. So that was 32 capsules. When we got Solmegas, I was so excited because I went from taking 16 to only four capsules of the Solmegas with no enzymes to break it down. And now that I've actually added in the infatuate as well, I'm only doing two Solmegas. So it has been a major game changer. And it's so nice not to have to swallow 32, I'm just saying. <laughs> so let's go back to, oh, interesting, this jumped down here. Let's do our next one here. Okay, so to continue on, and this just, um, highlights and uh, brings to the, the top here the, the key benefits. And these are all listed for the Solmegas, the cholesterol, which we talked about. So it helps the body to maintain cholesterol in normal range. So otherwise bringing the body into balance, which is what we talk about, helping the body to support and, and go towards homeostasis, which is its goal. We talked about how it supports the skin, the heart and the brain, joint health and hormones. And always, we want to bring it back to our dis-ease tree. If we think about all these benefits that a good plant-sourced uh, omegas do, and, you know, with especially one that's covering the three, six, sevens, nines, you know, this is so huge, it does. It's going to help support us when we're looking at mental and emotional stress. 
we're looking at nutritional deficiency. So many people are dealing with the standard American diet, otherwise known as the SAD diet, and they're getting trans fats or they're getting um, non-healthy fats as well. And you cannot pull what you need out of this. And we end up with issues as we see in the disease tree there um, that would tie back to not having the proper fats. Physical trauma, think about the inflammation that can come from that and how good proper plant fats can help support that. And toxic overload, I talked about how your uh, good fats support cholesterol in the body, which I always teach it to think of it like the asphalt crew on a road. It's going in and patching the different holes that are in the, in the highway so that you can have an easier road well, uh, to drive on. So think about that in your body. It is going in there, grabbing these, and, and you protecting it in, uh, from the body so you don't have undue issues from it. All this, again, we're approaching and directing all this towards the roots. So it all moves up to the tree, helping to make for a much healthier uh, expression in the body. So now we're going to ask Ashley Brannon to share a um, soul testimony that she has regarding this soul mega. So Ashley, if you would unmute yourself, we would love to hear what you have to say. Wonderful. Can you hear me okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, I'm really excited to be here. So thank you, Valerie, for inviting me. And you challenged me um, when you reached out. And I'll tell you why. Um, this month has been my sixth year um, with using the herbs. So I was like, okay, sit in this just for a minute and really evaluate how the omegas have benefited your life. So I took a step back and um, I think of the herbs, um, especially omegas as food. So they go in my grocery budget during the month and I, I take them. Um, but when I really sat back and thought, okay, what do the omegas mean to you? How have they benefited your life? Sunshine mind, that's what popped in. And what I mean about that is um, all the side benefits um, of the omegas, I can think more clearly, I think brighter, so I think sunshine mind. And now I really feel like I have the ability to start a project, finish a project, and move to the next one. <laughs> because before, I was trying to do 10 different projects and I was getting, no, I wasn't getting anywhere. <laughs> so that's been a huge success um, for me personally. And then also, I believe the omegas have been my sunscreen. So I take my omegas, and Val, you can probably help us understand this more, but after taking my omegas, I take them year round, and I use Soulflex PI cream. I have it on my desk here. Um, topically, I don't get as sunburned as I used to. So I love that, because I love the sun, and I love getting vitamin D. And then um, I also use the one capsule of omega. I uh, pop a hole in it and mix it with Soulflex cream and apply it to my face at night as my facial uh, moisturizer. So I do have quite a bit of sun damage um, and it's helped just pop in those lines, if you will, and reduce inflammation on my face. So, and then the other thing is hair growth. I mean, my hair grows like a wildflower. <laughs> I shared that the other day. So I really, hair growth, nail growth, and um, just overall building a strong foundation so I can move forward in life and um, just live a really sunshine mind life. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Ashley. I appreciate you taking time. And I love the idea of a sunshine mind because to me that just means that brightness and you feel alert. It just it beams through you that you're connected and, and, and functioning at your, at your ideal best self. So thank you for sharing, Ashley. You're welcome. Thank you, Val. And I just want to say one more thing. Um, this also brings me, it's been so, um, it's been a blessing and to have a friendship with you, Valerie, and then also, um, mentoring your mentorship in many areas of life, but especially health. So 
I just want to encourage everybody to um, have a health mentor in your life. That's been very beneficial. So, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so sweet. Thank you, dear. <laughs> All right, and so now well, Shauna has got a fantastic um, story to talk about with how uh, Solmegas have benefited her. So Shauna, if you'll unmute, we would love to hear what you have to say. Hey everybody, thanks for having me again. <laughs> she keeps, you guys, I've been here forever, so I have all these testimonies because it was life changing for me. And Back to what she said about the foundation. It is my foundation. No matter what I've had to do and with all the hills and valleys in the last few years, soul is my forever. And it, what comes to me is soul faithful because it is. But about March of 2013, I kind of hit a brick wall with a cardiologist and he put me on a statin drug about probably two years before that. So that would have put us back about 2011 probably. And my cholesterol was like sky high. The total, I pulled it because I wanted to look at my numbers compared to now for you guys because numbers are very telling. And my original was about 348. I was, I was bad. I was really bad. And in six months with the vital cinemata and the soul megas, it dropped to 285 overall. And these may not mean anything to you, but my HDL then was 42. It's now 64, and that doesn't concern me. And here's why the triglycerides were 167, and now they're 86 as of June 5th. That's a big deal. And my LDL was 210, and it's down to 172. So here, you know, seven years on this, eight years was sold. This has brought things. I think significantly in a positive stride and you can't deny that. In fact, when I pulled all this, I got so excited because I just had um, a heart score done to see what the fractionated part is right now to see what we need to do. I pulled these numbers. I just fired those off in an email to my doctor and said, I think you'll probably find this interesting because it's so big. The soul megas are beyond a good foundational thing I think for everybody and I, I always test on myself Valerie knows I do this <laughs> but I stopped it about um, October and I've done a test because I wanted to see what my body did without it and it's I noticed the other things like what you guys have brought in you know with the mind and I love Ashley's thing sunshine mind because it is a big deal and it does make a difference. And when you go back and you review what's in this blend, it's not just the megas, it's the blend of megas and what it does for the body is like mind blowing to me. And I love when I get those refreshers because I needed that again. And so anyway, I had to share those numbers and uh, you know, I still don't do a statin drug and that's, 10 years now that I've been off of it and it was with my cardiologist's approval. I've taken all this to my doctors, so I didn't do anything I wasn't supposed to. But yeah, do I believe in it? You better believe it. Fantastic. Thank you, Sean. And I'm so glad that getting to look at those numbers um, gave you inspiration about the difference it was making. And that also reminds me uh, several years ago since um, we got so, uh, Troy's, uh, the doctor there on, on base was telling him that they wanted his, his cholesterol numbers better and, and wanting to put a statin. And he said, well, just let, let me do it with uh, some supplements and, and lifestyle. And the doctor told him it couldn't be done. And uh, three months later, Troy went back and obviously I got him to start taking Soul Megas as part of his program. And the doctor actually told him, he says, I was wrong you did it and we're not going to mess with the statin just keep doing what you're doing so big testimony there so it's, it's pardon me i was going to tell you valerie my cardiologist asked for the information six months ago he said can i have this and can i keep this in your file yeah <laughs> fantastic i yeah. love it when we get the opportunity to uh, educate and share that information 
So it was perfect that um, we have the testimony here with Shauna talking about using the violent cinemate in the Solmegas because I talk about the foundation so much. And when we started Sol, we really only had about six products. And I am a big believer that in order to really turn around health, go in and support that foundation. So if I was um, working with a program with someone came to me with concerns for this, this is exactly what I would do. I would just work with supporting the foundation with the Bella Health Package, which gets you the good probiotic. Um, and the probi probiotics are going to help with that mind connection. The Veridesimes are going to help you with breaking down uh, foods and working with digestion. And people that have problems breaking down food, this is going to be important. Uh, Cinemate, we've seen that because what it does for blood sugar along with, we didn't talk about that, so omegas also can help with uh, blood sugar. And then the vital, because of the adaptogens are in there, jogulin in particular helps to um, balance out um, and help blood pressure come into healthy ranges. So you can see why all of these together make an ideal approach to helping support your foundation and working with um, the circulatory system. And I just decided that this quote is so good that I just think that we need to keep um, reminding ourselves of this. And it is true, if you don't make time for your wellness, you will be forced to make time for your illness. Now this doesn't mean that if you are make, making uh, your wellness a priority in your life that you will never have illness issues, absolutely not. But to me what it means is you have a better chance of bouncing back faster and not having to work so hard to regain the wellness that you had prior to having the health issues. Regardless, to me it's about quality of life and when we get in to address that foundation, we're supporting that quality. And as always, um, every Monday at 6.30 Central Time, we are doing these Zooms. Next week's topic, we'll be talking about emotional health and different ways we can support that with the four unique um, soul essential oil uh, blends that we have in the uh, roll-on uh, roll bottles. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, in the replay, please hit uh, subscribe below so that you can make certain that you do not miss out on any of these in the future. Now, before we end, does anybody have any additional thoughts or information? We've got a great group on here, thoughts that anyone might want to share. I actually just have a question. Go for um, it. I take the megas myself, and I'm just wondering, how do you know how many you need a day? My personal way that I know um, comes with those different um, expressions of the body being out of balance. My feet don't hurt when I have enough. If I have enough, then my brain is quiet when I lay down to go to sleep. So the way I kind of learned was initially I started with that four. If I was teaching a seminar or something, I would, and I lay down to go to sleep and there was a little more activity than what I was used to, I'd get up and I'd take an extra one and that would take care of it. So I just kind of listened to it that way. Does anyone else have any ways? Yes, Greg. Well, I want to add on to, because I, I like your way, Valerie and, and Darlene. She's, and Ashley, she's also our family's mentor, health mentor. She knows this. Our son, Ethan, who's now 15, just turned 16. He has Tourette's and very, very minimal impact right now. But for, you know, in a period of time, it was, oh, it was so our heart just just bled for him because he um, just couldn't even function at school. And Valerie, he's taking the Soul Bomb, which is the two, the the Soul Vitals in Amate and the other two Soul drinks. He doesn't miss. He loves that. But the he takes Adaptable and Omegas. And the reason I wanted to bring it up with Omegas, he did the same thing as Valerie. He started with a recommended two a day, and he did the same thing with Adaptable. Then he still was wanting to feel even better while it was working. So he had a thing he was working on. So it's nice to pick a thing that you feel like is still not the way you want it in your health because omegas are going to really make a difference with just about everything. And he just added one a day. So Ethan started with two. I can't remember Valerie, if you recommended he do four and he, so just four a day. And then he said, well, dad, I felt a huge difference. I'm going to five. And then he went to five and he goes, 
I know I can't remember if he went to five or six. I think he because he was taking some in the morning, some at night. I think it was he jumped from four to six because he went three in the morning, three at night. He did not feel a difference at six more than four. So he said he tried it for a few days and he went, okay, I think four is is my so he just did it by slow increments, noticing how he felt, and then he settled on what he what he liked, and he's done the same thing with adaptable. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, if if one of the things I really teach is for people to listen to their body, our body will give us all the information. And the healthier we get, the easier it is to hear what the body's saying. And it's kind of funny to me, I've had so often people will walk through my, my door um, at the shop when I, was, I had that open and they'd say, well, how do you know? I'm like, well, all the information is right there. Just like the picture I shared earlier today with the little cholesterol deposits that can form around the eye when the body can't break down the fats properly. Those tend to disappear when we're getting fats we can utilize correctly. So if we listen, watch, observe, the information's all there. It's just knowing what to listen to and what to, to look for. Anybody else have anything they wanted to share? All right. Well, thank you, everyone. I just absolutely, these make my day if you get an opportunity to get on and, and teach. So I will be putting the re recording up tomorrow and uh, I hope that everyone has a fantastic Monday evening. Bye, everyone. <laughs>